Okay, I'm a little late to the party, but shout out to Akai for sending this over. <laughs> the MPK Mini Plus. It's actually kind of dope, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about it. Bolo! This ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Actually looks good, feels good. Look at that. Got all the stuff in the back. Got the real MIDI ports on the back, the CV gate stuff, the pedal, all that good stuff, man. It's not bad at all. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Got a transport, the pads, they feel good. Look at all the knobs and everything. It's not bad. Not bad at all. This is actually a very good MIDI keyboard. Very good MIDI keyboard, and it comes with some extra little perks that there's already been like a ton of videos that have already explained all the stuff that comes with it. It comes with a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it comes with a lot. One of the big things I do like about it is you can go ahead and configure this thing to play your scales and play your chords and stuff like that and it's built in to the actual MIDI keyboard. Who does that right now? But also, you know, it has a sequence on here which I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know if anybody's really gonna use it like that. I know it sounds cool and I know if you might be out and about and you might have something small enough to take with you, but to have like two tracks to do sequencing on and there's like a step sequencer and you know, I, I don't, maybe they might be leading it to something later on down the line. I don't know. Now, another thing that um, kind of, kind of threw me off a little bit is the transport right here. Like they got the whole transport on here, but the only thing about it is, it doesn't work directly with the full MPC software. You have to actually kind of set it up, which I felt that was kind of off a little bit too. I know the MPC beats, it was a little bit easier, but in the software, you have to kind of go in and manually kind of do it yourself to get the transport buttons to work. And then it doesn't have the overdub button on here. Like I would think if this was a MPC type of a product, you know, a Kai product, it would work exactly with the actual program you know what i mean so no overdub button on here as well which i found that kind of odd but i can kind of understand what they're saying with that is basically if you want that just go ahead and get you like a live or go ahead and get the uh what's the one product i had an issue with yeah that in that studio two that yeah I am. i'm still not feeling that one but i do understand what this keyboard is all about and it's about bringing that mpc style workflow to your fingertips and this thing is actually very dope it's a nice size too for it to be 37 keys it is pretty dope now the one thing i did want to say about this keyboard is i'm probably not going to be using it that much with the mpc software i'm probably going to be using this more with other software like logic or maybe studio one reason being is that i think that it is actually more useful in those situations than it is with the actual NPC software. Why do I say that? I think the software is better capable for like using it with the NPC Live or using it with the NPC X. You can definitely use it with this, but just being able to do the drums a certain way and being able to actually control the whole program, to me, the way I produce, the MPK Mini Plus will actually slow me down and it just won't really fit into my production style. Now, if you're just not starting out, the MPK Mini Plus is an excellent choice if you want to get into the whole MPC experience. But I'm telling you, when you use the software combined with the X or the Live or even, you know, the first, the MPC Studio One, the first Studio One. I, I, I'm still not a fan of that that Studio Two. But that first Studio One, I got the black. I got the studio, you know, the MPC Studio Black. Using it with that, you'll like it. The uh, the other studio, I'm, I'm still not a fan of it. I got it. I still, from time to time, try to use it. I actually favor this over the, uh, the Studio Two, that second version. I just can't get jiggy with that. But to be honest with you guys, I actually will be using this keyboard more with my MPC Live 2 because I actually was using another manufacturer's keyboard with my MPC Live 2, but now that I have this, this right here will work perfectly 
Plus, it matches the color scheme and everything, and it comes with a few things that you can set in there that's actually pretty dope. Now, if you are using this, like I said before, there's a few things that are dope. You can put your scales in here, you can put your cores in here. There's an arpeggiator in here. It's actually pretty dope, and it works right alongside with the MPC software, so you guys can use this keyboard to go ahead and just do things on the fly with the MPC software. But me, I will be using this more, like I said, with the MPC Live 2, because now I can just take my MPC Live, I can take this keyboard, which is super small, the footprint of it is small. Let me show you guys the difference between this and my uh, other MPC keyboard. Hold on real quick. Ah, my back has been killing me the past couple of days. I might have to go to the, to the doctor and get this checked out. Mm. But yes, this is my MPK Mini. This is it right here. And this is the MPK Mini Plus. As you guys can see, it's not that much bigger than the MPK Mini. The MPK Mini, the, the keys are a little bit bigger, but this right here is a very decent, very decent size to have 37 keys. This is dope because it's got the black keys. I like this. I use this more in my uh, iPad room. This is dope though but this is coming with me on the road. Now, another thing that I really didn't kind of understand about this is, is the little joystick thing right here. I don't know if I'll be using it for anything. Um, I might have to watch one of the Andy Mac videos or something to see what the joystick is good for. Uh, Andy Mac, holla at me, man. Holla at your boy. Other than that, it's a, uh, it's a very good MIDI controller. I love how it feels. The keys feel good. Everything feels sturdy. The pads actually feel very good. Um, everybody's saying that they feel like uh, the MPC One pads, which I can agree with you on that. They do feel like the MPC One pads. They did a good job on that. And everything works pretty good. Now, they do have a configuration for this to work in other programs like Logic, um, the uh, MPC Beats and stuff like that. Um, I tried to use it in Logic uh, when I was going through it and, and I selected Logic. None of the transport stuff worked. I had to, I had to manually do that myself. But other than that, um, having to manually kind of configure this thing, it's not hard. You just got to go in, do the MIDI learn stuff like that. Once you do all that, everything is cool. It's it's no real big issues like that. It, it's not. Yeah, but like I was saying before, I'm going to be using this more with my MPC Live too because I think it's going to be a perfect setup for me on the road. Now, if you guys don't want to spend the money and get like the MPC Key 61 and you just want to use like your Live and just have like a good controller to use with it. Now, the good thing is you'll be 100% in the Akai MPC ecosystem so you can just hook this thing up and go to work with it. And that way you can just go ahead and just get the MPC Live and just get the sounds, the same sounds that come with the MPC Key 61 and you can just hook this bad boy up to it, and you can just go to work. Yeah, since there was so many different videos out already, shout out to Abe McCree, shout out to Loop Pop, shout out to Akai Pro Video, shout out to Tetro, Tetro, I keep forgetting how to say his name. They've already done really good videos explaining a lot about this keyboard. I just wanted to add my two cents in because this thing is actually pretty dope. Now, since it's November, 2022, do I feel like this would be a great gift for somebody for Christmas? Yes, I think this would be a great gift. I think if somebody's trying to get into the whole NPC ecosystem, this will be great for them, okay? So I'm saying it, yes, this will be something great. Now, if you guys wanna go and get this, you can purchase this through the Akai site, or you can purchase this using the Sweetwater link, which I will probably try to find a link and put it down here in the description. It'll help me out. So if you wanna go ahead and do that, you know, go ahead and do that. But for something that is entirely in the NPC in the Akai ecosystem, this is very, very good. I've had a lot of Akai stuff, and this right here is very good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed what I was saying about this. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out, and go get the Akai Mini Plus right now.